Saving your game from the mundane, the component proponent, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pluto, for that wonderful presentation about the Underworld board from our upcoming Risk Godstorm product and why it should be too small for anybody to actually be able to use. <laughs> All right, yes. Uh, oh, next up, we have Russet Tope, who's going to be giving a presentation on the colors that he has selected for the player units. Mr. Tope. Thank you, Mr. Hill. Here are the selections that I've made for the five player colors for our upcoming Risk Godstorm product. First, we'll have the Babylonian army in blue. Ooh. Then the Celtic army in green. Very nice. Followed by the Greek army in maroon. Very the nice. Norse army in brown. Ooh. And finally, the Egyptian army in a slightly less brown. Did you, um, did you focus group this? Let's say yes. And the play testers, they were okay with the color scheme? I'm going to answer this question by acting like I'm saying what you want to hear. And you didn't receive any complaints from anyone about anything? I didn't receive any complaints that I read. I. I just mean, and I in no way want to undermine your creative decision here, I can understand wanting to use a certain palette for the game's assets, but one may argue that there's a wide variety of possible colors and hues that are being left untapped. I mean, for example, if one were to step back just for a moment, it's possible that within a microsecond, an alternative more distinguishable color with a hue that is still coincides with the game's overall palette could be found. And they'd be much easier to tell apart on the board, especially when dozens of units are going to be populating the board under normal everyday lighting conditions. One could, theoretically, be left wondering how anyone anywhere in the history of mankind could have thought that this was a good decision. They may respond to this proposal by posing the question of what color could have been better than slightly less brown? The answer being, of course, any color. They'd even follow up with specific rudimentary examples, including, but not limited to, black, white, lavender, gray, clear even. Yes, they may say, yes, in this scenario, even transparent figures would have been a better choice than slightly less brown. And then they would, I can only assume, conclude with a plea for game developers to not let form override function when it comes to these types of game design decisions. Just because someone's really into Mediterranean earth tones doesn't mean that we should sentence the poor people who are going to purchase this product to a lifetime of confusion. Orange! There's another color you could have used. Orange. <laughs> Sorry, that, that just slipped out. What if, instead of slightly less brown, we just call it ochre? Wow. Well, congratulations on another top-notch executive decision. Here, please, accept a promotion, the keys to the company helicopter, and the corner office. <laughs> no, no. You it. <laughs> Did you focus group this? Did you focus group this? <laughs> 